Guys, welcome back. It is Racer X, and today I'm actually uh, back with my good buddies here at Clay Cooley Dodge in Irving, Texas. And uh, I wanted to put a little comparison together for you. It's one uh, you guys have been asking me for a while, and a lot of people say, well, Racer X, where is the love with the uh, the V6 300 crew? Well, today I'm going to give the uh, the 300 its due. So I'm actually going to compare it to the uh, to the Charger SXT, and uh, it makes for kind of an interesting comparison. I have a couple of very key points that I want to make about those cars as well so it should be a fun one also guys if you are uh, new to my channel do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button for me i have so much great content planned for this year it's going to be an absolute blast also follow me on instagram and we are off <laughs> we got the thousand horsepower helmet I will say, guys, that this dealership really does get some beautiful inventory. I'm actually really digging the uh, the 1320 in the uh, in the black on black. Very sharp, of course. Then you've got your uh, another scat pack here, and then right over here, check out this uh, super stock right here, guys. Really, really sharp. This is that uh, smoke show color, and it really looks good with that black. Uh, with the mat there as well so uh, it's actually more of a satin finish but a very very sharp looking vehicle here and i love the inventory these guys uh, keep they actually happen to have uh, the chrysler 300 in uh, three of the newest fca colors uh, this is ocean blue metallic you can see they've also got hell raisin i'm actually a huge fan of the hell raisin and uh check this bad boy out that is the uh, chrysler 300 in cinnamon sticks so uh they got a couple of really good looking cars to choose from so i'm gonna grab one we'll put it in the bay and we'll talk about it well behind me you've got both cars so i do have the charger sxt right here and then of course right there you've got that cinnamon stick uh color that is the chrysler 300 touring and uh, these two cars have a lot of similarities a lot of the exact same thing crosses over between these two cars so i'll talk a little bit about that and i'll also tell you about some of the differences and maybe which one you might like better one of the first things I want to cover is actually some of the trim levels that you can get in the Chrysler uh, 300. As we know, this is the Touring. This is basically the, the base model. Uh, this one stickers right around $30,000 from a from a base price perspective. This one's actually a little bit more, but the base price of the Chrysler 300 Touring is around thirty grand. Now, of course, you also have the Limited, which is another uh, which is another trim. You've got the Chrysler 300S, which is their sport trim, and then you've got the Chrysler 300C, which I think starts right around like. $42,000, and that is, of course, their, their most upper-level trim. Uh, so four different trim levels available on this, and that is just for the Pentastar V6. Now, of course, they do have the uh, the 5.7-liter uh, Hemi available in the 300 as well. But when we talk about the Charger, you're talking about a big difference here because, yes, we know the SXT is essentially the, the very lowest on the totem pole, and then, of course, it goes up from there. You go to the GT, which also is fitted with the Pentastar. Um, you also have the, uh, let's see, you got the RT. Then you jump up to the uh, the scat pack then of course you've got the hellcat the new hellcat wide body they're making the new red eye hellcat in the charger so lots of trim levels available in the charger now both of these two vehicles the chrysler uh, 300 touring and of course the charger or the challenger sxt this of course being the charger uh, they both come with that v6 that pentastar and it puts out right around 292 horsepower now if you were to get the gt in the charger you would then get 300 horsepower but in effect uh, they're all very close horsepower wise and these two cars actually have the exact same sticker price which is why i chose them as you can see the sticker price on this one is 32605 and of course as we go over here to the charger let me walk around just so i can show you um, i picked two of these cars for that very reason there you go 32.7 so effectively these two cars are the exact same price so another couple items of note on these two cars and just how similar they are they're actually made on the exact same chassis no difference on the chassis of these two cars they actually weigh about the same they get essentially the same fuel mileage um, there are a lot of similarities between these two cars um, one is obviously made by chrysler the other by dodge but there are some differences between these cars as well 
Now for 2021, the Chrysler uh, 300 Touring is actually getting about a $400 price jump, while the Charger SXT is actually staying exactly the same. I actually checked the uh, websites for both Chrysler and uh, Dodge earlier today to verify that. But I did want to show you there is a pretty big difference in terms of the way the front ends of these two cars look. I mean, this one has more of a low slung front end, of course. And uh, this one has obviously the much bigger grill, a very uh, noticeable Chrysler sign there. And uh, also, like the flares on the side of this car are much more noticeable than they are on the Charger. It almost has like a Charger wide body type look to it. Not quite, but <laughs> it's certainly more noticeable than the, than the standard uh, Charger SXT is. And of course, and there are lots of different wheels and tires that will go on uh, depending upon the trim that you choose on these. Now, when you actually look at the shape of the Chrysler 300 Touring, it is quite a bit different than the Charger. You can see it's almost got kind of a squared off type uh, trunk to it. You actually have the uh, the back window here is uh, not quite as slanted and it's a little bit smaller. Um, definitely a different look from the Chrysler. Let's look at the Dodge really quick. And you can see this, of course, is the blacktop edition. So you do get that spoiler there, but it is just shaped completely different. Even the bumper on this one is a little more extended than it is in the 300. So uh, the shape and the line Line on these two cars is significantly different. And I will say that uh, I do think that the Chrysler actually is uh, maybe slightly taller than the Charger as well when you look at the two side by side, but uh, it makes for an interesting comparison. Now, when you look at the back seats of these two cars, they are basically identical looking. I mean, you've got your USB ports down in here. Um, you've got plenty of room in the back of the Charger, which is one of the greatest features about it. It's a very comfortable car to sit and ride in. And of course, when you look at the back of the 300, um, very much a similar place to sit. You still have your USB ports down there. Now, one of the things I did notice, and I need to point this out, is for some reason, this car seems to be a lot softer. I don't know if they use softer foam or if it's the material that are used on the seats or whatever, but this is actually a much softer surface in terms of just you know, pushing down on it. And it's just a softer cushion than in the Charger. I'm not sure why that is. Um, like I said, it may be a function of the material. Um, I mean, this is a little bit more of a, um, of a firm material, but uh, definitely something to note. On the 300, uh, they still use these kind of chrome trim pieces. And on the uh, on the Charger, you actually won't find any of those chrome trim pieces. They actually went kind of to the black, more sporty look. So definitely a little difference there as well. Now, when we jump up towards the front seat of the Charger, um, you can see, I mean, see the seats are very, very comfortable here. Like I said, it's still kind of that more firm feel uh, than uh, the 300 has. Now, when you jump over here, you can see this does have the central uh, infotainment screen, very uh, kind of a neutral driving position in this car. This actually has the smaller infotainment screen. And of course, uh, the shifter here is different than it is in the 300. Also, your trim pieces. This kind of has this uh, silver trim on it. And uh, even though the cup holders are in the same place, matter of fact, we'll jump over to the Chrysler and take a look. So here you have the Chrysler, and you can see this kind of has this, uh, this gear selector looks entirely different. So yeah, a lot of this is similar. The trim pieces are actually different here as well. This part of the car is basically identical, but the, uh, the infotainment screen here in the middle is a little bit bigger. And actually, when you start looking at the gauges, things change quite a bit. And of course, uh, there is your little clock, which is kind of a, a signature of the Chrysler 300. Uh, you do not get that in the Charger. From the driver's seat of the Charger, I actually want to show you kind of what these gauges look like. So we'll go ahead and start it up for you. Um, but it is a nice place to sit. As I mentioned, the seats in this particular trim are a little bit more firm than they are in the 300. Very noticeable. But on the gauge cluster here, you can see it's kind of a red and white theme here. Uh, the uh, the numbers up here uh, are actually uh, kind of square in nature, if you can see that. And um, it's just, uh, like I said, they're very usable. Um, I do kind of like the sort of race pattern that it has there. Um, also on your infotainment screen, uh, you do even though this is the smaller one, um, it is still very usable and you have a lot of pretty cool features. Obviously, you've got your, you know, your radio, you've got any different sort of media. If you want to plug in your USBs, you've got your apps here. So um, a lot of the things that the larger infotainment screen will do, this one will actually do. It's just not quite as big. This uh, part of the car actually, as you saw in the 300, even though the trim is different, uh, this actually is basically identical. Also, the, uh, the door controls are basically identical. Now, from the driver's seat of the Chrysler 3, 
300. Um, it has a very uh, similar look and feel, obviously. You got your uh, steering wheel here. The controls are essentially the same here. Now, on the gauges, quite a bit different. As you can see, we'll start this bad boy up. So you've got the 300 logo that now appears there. Now, this has more of a kind of a blue type uh, hue to it, which I actually, I actually really like. This, uh, this speedometer here actually has kind of a different look to it as well. Um, and, of course, you know, where you, you've got your park and all of your drive modes uh, right there at hand. And then, of course, when you jump over to your central infotainment screen, this does basically the same stuff that the charger does, but a little bit different look to it. It is a little larger screen on this. As I do mention, I actually like the trim in the 300 of these trim pieces better uh, than in the charger. But um, it has a really nice look and feel. You can see. Now, I'm actually behind the wheel of the uh, the Dodge Charger SXT. And sorry, guys, I know it is just a little bit dark in here. Lost my daylight pretty quick this time of year. But uh, at any rate, this car does offer a kind of a really nice neutral driving position and feel. So even though uh, the Pentastar isn't what I would consider to be you know, ultimately over overpowering, um, it is still a really nice engine and it does offer certainly enough power for the average person. And uh, the one thing I always say about the V6 trims is that, no, they're not race cars, but at the same time, they do offer enough power to still have some fun and um, you know, they're just, uh, they're just a really nice smooth driving vehicle. This Pentastar V6 is, is just such a proven engine. And this, this Charger, I mean, it's such a proven platform. Um, they've just sold so many units and the thing just gets the job done. It's kind of nice and roomy, it's comfortable, um, and it's fairly enjoyable to drive. I mean, if I get into the gas pedal, I mean, it definitely feels like it's trying to get up and go. So um, yeah, I mean, I realize for somebody like me who's kind of a gearhead and somebody who's a drag racer, uh, you know, maybe 300 horsepower isn't exactly your cup of tea. But for the average person that does the A to B thing and just wants a car to look good and uh, and just sort of be fun, this car is actually uh, really, really good. <laughs> Now I am aboard the Chrysler 300 Touring. And um, I have to say, I was really expecting these two cars really to drive identical in my mind. I mean, like I said, there's so many similarities between the weight and the chassis and, and just, you know, the engine power, all that stuff. I mean, it's all the same. But I the, the car does drive a little bit different and you, you feel a little different sitting in it. Um, first of all, the seats in the 300 are softer. I cannot tell you why. Um, maybe they shouldn't be, but they are. I mean, it's just a softer seat seat to sit in. I will tell you that right now. Also, um, the steering on this car, it feels uh, it feels lighter than it does on the Charger. So um, I wasn't expecting that either. I was expecting the steering to be identical. Now, the suspensions in these two cars are the same. Um, so I don't really, really know why this one feels uh, you know, like it has lighter steering. Maybe it's just because it's a Touring. I don't know. But um, if you like a really nice light steering feel, this one has it. Now the engine in the 300, it really does feel like it has basically the exact same amount of sort of get up and go that the Charger has. And I sort of expected that, obviously, you're talking the exact same amount of horsepower, the cars weigh the same, so no surprise there. Go ahead and give it a little gas. Yeah, I mean, it feels fantastic to drive. Um, the car feels very balanced, um, so really no issues. I can see out of the car well, just like in the Charger. Now I will say from an amenities perspective, this car, even though you know it, it's similar, it actually has almost a nicer feel to me uh, when I'm sitting. I love the blue gauges in this car, but um, in terms of just the, the way that the car feels to sit in and drive and just sort of the way that the, the features, the amenities are here around me, um, I think I actually really do like uh, the Chrysler 300 maybe a little bit better because it is, it almost feels a little bit more luxurious. And even in this trim, the very basic trim that they offer, um, it still feels uh, like, a, like a pretty nice, luxurious place to sit, if I will. So yeah, after driving this car for a few minutes, um, it offers a pretty nice, smooth driving experience. The car really does drive pretty smooth. It drives similar, um, obviously, to the Charger, with the exception, as I mentioned, of some of the amenities and kind of the, the overall sort of just feel inside the inside the car, and then also just how light the steering is. Um, but otherwise, you know, they're basically the same. So I know this sort of begs the question, right? Racer X, if you had to pick one of these two to choose as your daily, uh, which one would you pick? The 300 uh, Touring or the uh, the Charger SXT? And if I'm being completely honest, um, I would probably 
I would choose the 300. And there's a few reasons why. One, I really like the gauges. I like the blue gauges in this, but it just feels like a nicer place to sit. The seats are softer in this car. Um, the infotainment screen is bigger. And mind you, these two cars cost exactly the same. I do like the gear selector in this. I like the trim pieces better in this. Um, the steering's a little bit lighter. Um, it's actually a really nice car to drive. So I'm not necessarily bashing the Charger SXT, a very solid platform great car. Um, I think I might just like the 300 a little bit better, which is kind of sad because um, who knows what might happen with the 300. Now, I know that there has been some speculation on whether or not the Chrysler 300 will continue at all. So uh, actually for 2021, uh, they're actually not making the Chrysler 300C anymore, their upper level trim. Uh, you can't get that for 2021 anymore. And some think that maybe the 300 will go away altogether. Now Chrysler really is only making uh, two, different, uh, two different things right now. They're making the 300 and they're making the Pacifica minivan. So all the other stuff, the 200 and all the other things that they we're making they don't do that anymore so will chrysler go away permanently we don't know uh but while they still have the 300 it is definitely something to enjoy so uh, anyway guys uh, hopefully you like this little video it was kind of fun to just compare the two cars show you some of the similarities and the differences and ultimately it's subjective and it's really kind of up to you so let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will catch you on the next one so until then racer x